I have an abundance of quality time and attention for my family and friends. This next life element we're going to talk about, it's so sensitive to me. It's, it's the core and the hub of everything that we do. And oftentimes, it's simply not noticed for its level of importance. But 85% or more of the success that you have in your life will be based on the quality of your relationships. Home life and relationships, I can't begin to share how impactful your relationships are, especially your individually individual family. That is your personal kingdom. The practices and experiences you have in your home, within your home, behind the scenes, those special moments you create, the problems you solve, the growth you acquire, are preparation for what you do in public, in the marketplace. So God gives us practice, I believe. He also gives us choice to create them how we desire, not necessarily how society says it has to be, or even how we've seen it done before. Um, studies showing that average, we are an average of the five people we spend the most time with. And so this particular life element, which is home life and relationships, is life element three inside the police, your thoughts, affirmation guide. And I'm gonna go over some affirmations that you can embody. This was so important for me personally because I, you know, as I really began stepping into new areas and progressing within my own evolution and brand, I realized just how impactful my relationships were. They were either uh, giving me energy or draining me of energy. And it was important for me that home became this like sacred place that I could rejuvenate and restore my energy and also fill my cup as a space of how I would give out to my daughter and my intimate relationships, my clients, people that I would just encounter in general. So I'm gonna give you just a few of the affirmations from the Police Your Thoughts uh, Affirmation Guide, which is a segue to the She Prosper 30 Day Mastermind. September the 7th is your last day to sign up for that for 2024, um, for those of you who are joining us. But here with the affirmations, I create opportunities for my family to experience and grow. That's huge. I create opportunities for my family to experience and grow. I have amazing relationships with prosperous people, with prosperous conversations, whose life I add to with my mere presence and am added to by theirs. That's so profound. So your relationships are with prosperous people and you're having prosperous conversations. That's huge. My home is clean, organized, and welcoming always. Now, I know most of us have this rule. If you didn't call before you come, you don't get in, right? So whatever your rule may be, having your home clean, organized, and welcoming always impacts your own energy, impacts the energy of your loved ones and those who are in the home with you. And the organized part, a lot of it, may come with like decluttering things that you don't need. I dive deep on that inside my academy, but yeah, just having a welcoming, clean, organized space. And that was not always top tier for me. When I was in a dysfunctional relationship, listen, that dysfunction as within, so without, it shows everywhere. It felt like everything around me was also um, dysfunctional and so your relationships are huge they impact so many different areas in your life um, my children feel safe sharing their deepest thoughts and experiences with me 
My children feel safe sharing their deepest thoughts and experiences with me. That's an affirmation. My intimate relationships are in alignment with where I desire my life to go. And in parentheses, I have growth. My intimate relationships are in alignment with where I desire my life to go. I have regularly scheduled quality time with my family daily. You know, that connection piece is, is so huge. And we live in such a busy society that, you know, connection can look different, but having a set time where you know we come together as a family unit or even you and your spouse individually from the kids or whatever that may be. I had a client recently who talked about what she desired for her children. And I said, we'll begin creating that now. Like before this next level of income comes that you're gonna be able to create a different level of that experience. You can begin creating that experience, experience in your home right now, right? And that is calling in the next level of, of abundance. My home environment is one of peace, love, and joy. My home environment is one of peace, love, and joy. And here's the last one that I'll give for today that's so many. I'm an excellent communicator. I listen well and speak clearly and effectively and add to my relationships. Now this one was huge for me. Um, having come from a dysfunctional uh, situation, well, I was married. I'm not situation. I was in covenant. I was married. But having come from that dynamic, you form a way of being and communicating with your partner and, and your spouse. And it may not always, well, in my case, it was not conducive for me to have that same energy, that same way of communicating or maybe not being heard and then my response to not, it just wasn't good energy for me to expect to take into this next level of relationships I'm experiencing now. And so communication was huge and it, my friends will say, well, you're such an excellent communicator, but communication being a great communicator is not about being able to articulate great concepts and words and things of that nature. It's also about listening and being able to receive um, information, listening to understand. There's so many aspects of being a great communicator. So that was really important to me. I created an affirmation and passed it on to you know, the, those who get to experience my work. And I pray that that one is a good one for you as well. Let me see if I can find one more. So this is kind of personal, but it may be in alignment with you. I own a debt-free home of my custom design. I own a debt-free home of my custom design. Remember this is home life and relationships. What are some things that you want to affirm about your relationships? 85% of your success is predicated upon the success, the quality of your relationships is so huge, it's so big. And many of the women who come to work with me for support in their business who find spaces of resistance or stuckness, normally when we peel back the layers, there's some level of relationship, whether it's a business relationship, an intimate relationship, a parental relationship, there's some form of relationship that is out of alignment with who they are, who they desire to become. And so relationships are super, super huge. And you affirming what you desire changes your energy. It even changes what your ear is open to and what your heart is receptive to. That's my take on today. I'm Tanya Wilson, Master Life and Business Coach. I teach from a three-point perspective, abundance mindset, personal growth, and business building. Those three things align are, it's like a perfect match for abundance. Um, the She Prospers Mastermind, the last day to join us is September the 7th. We're doing everything mindset abundance. We're talking about lip, uncovering some of your limiting beliefs that may be keeping you from that next level of income if you're at like this space and it seems like you just can't get to the next level or past that ceiling. There's a limiting belief somewhere and I want to help support you in uncovering it and creating new thoughts and reframing retraining and reframing your mindset as it relates to money and abundance and your openness to receive your next level 
um, into your life and into your business. We're talking universal laws, all the things. And um, I'm excited. We meet every Sunday for 30 days and you get an activation from me every single day that will help you in your retraining process. That's my take on today, home life and relationship affirmations, peace and abundance. Look, let me know how this series is registering for you. If you've been following and you are up to day three and you've listened to all of them or even just one, go back and listen to the others. But let me know how it's resonating for you. Peace and abundance.